Streetwise Intellect Production. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Bubble Podcast, your new home for Bay Area talent, presented by Streetwise Intellect Productions. I'm your host, Mystery the Realist, and I am elated and super happy to be back in front of the camera with you guys. I First of all, let me give a super shout out to my man S at Fame Media, because I call him at a drop of a dime, and my man is like, yeah, let's do it. And I just want you guys to understand that this network is not a joke, all right? This network is not a joke. That's what I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build this thing up to where everybody that's a part of this bubble podcast network can lean on each other or depend on each other and do something when something needs to be done. So shout out to my man S at Fame Media. I have no problem with him having his backdrop in this thing, man, because we are associated and uh, the town is moving. All right, so with that being said, man, I'm so happy to be up in front of the camera. I got a nice artist out of the town. Uh, <clears throat> my man, he got at me. Uh, I don't even have any music from this guy. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. I like his music from what I've been hearing. I like his music. I don't even have any music, but my man is moving so hard that I had to get him in here and talk to you guys on camera. So uh, without me yapping all further and, and, and doing what I do, uh, let me introduce our guest, guys. Uh, he goes by the name of Godface, and my man is coming out of Oakland, California. And uh, I got a few questions to ask for him, man. Welcome to the, to the platform, man. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful, sir. Doing absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come out here and be on this platform. And and first of all, just getting at me on some real business stuff, man. And we're going to get into that. But uh, thank you. You know, I like to tell people all of that all the time. Thank you. I am appreciative for what you're doing. Um, so, all right, guys, let's get into it. Where the name God face come from? You know what, guys? I am a heterosexual male. I have no problem giving a male, uh, another male compliments on his looks, and I have no problem with that. So with, with that being said, I see, you know, where the concept comes from, but where did God face come from? Break that, <laughs> break that down for me. I uh, appreciate that, sir. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the Bubble Podcast, we on this thing. It's official, man. Uh, yeah. I had to get at you, you know what I mean? Because yeah. the way you was moving, you know, I was an inspiration, man, to, uh, to any artists out there, man. Go ahead and start networking, jump in those DMs. It's going to benefit you. Absolutely. Uh, I want to say that. So Thank you. appreciate you for doing this, you know. Yeah. That's number one. Absolutely, bro. Um, God face. Yeah. That was a transformation for me. That was huge. Um, basically, I came with the name first because I thought it was just aggressive and I thought it was just, you know, uh, a catcher that's going to make you say, well, you know why? Why exactly? You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I hear you. Maybe even make you want to listen to the music even more, <clears throat> and uh, you know, just incorporating the title God or the nature God. You feel me? That that was important for me because that 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 had a lot to do with my transformation. So, but as I began to really wear the name, mm -hmm. I realized what the acronyms were for it, <clears throat> and it was. Um, greatness on display forever after conscious elevation. It, it was something like that. I think you had sent me a DM saying that, and that's what I, that's what they, hey, that's what's up, bro. So go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so the acronym. So the acronym comes from um, that you are really just trying to um, expose the inner greatness. In it, yourself, exactly, right, exactly, and it's nothing wrong with calling yourself a god because you know I everybody does it. You know, it's not sacrilege. It's just it's part it's of how I feel. Foundation, you know, this it's, is how I feel, man. It's, everybody should have that, and I think in a lot of aspects, a lot of people do. But it's like when you come out and say it, it's like Muhammad Ali ish. It's kind of like you know what gives you the 
why would you do that? Like, no, you're yeah. not, you know? Yeah. But, you know, hey, you know, we all have to deal with each other's different points of perspective and be able to live and still be harmonious. That's what's up, man. So I like the God face thing. So then mm-hmm. I noticed on Instagram, right, you have 4,400 behind God face. True. And then I'm going to get into another part, guys, as far as, like, uh, part of his name or something, you know, like everybody, like artists, we like to do the parentheses, like, like I do the realist and stuff like that. So we're going to get into another part of his name. So I'm just trying to break down who this guy is that was up here talking to his guy, uh, talking to us guys. So, uh, 4,400, is right. that like, cause I'm from Oakland. So sure is, is, <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Is, yeah. is that 44th or is oh, that? No. <laughs> I, okay. Yeah, definitely no. Uh, okay, okay. Shout out to everybody that repped that fofo. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, everybody. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's know, nothing against it. You know, I'm just trying all. to. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, but uh, we're 4400. It, it, it really was just a, a inspiration that I got from. Um, I consider a master teacher, uh, Blue Pill. Um, he's like a, a super scientist. He's a, a super uh, genius in his own right. And he really broke down the law of 44 for me mm-hmm. in an aspect to where I grasped it. I seen it for myself. Mm-hmm. And then um, it was just a lot of confirmation involved, you know, all the way up into Jay-Z's 444. Um, and then it was a whole host and a litany of other things. And so I just recognized the power behind it. A lot of 44 resonators when you use, uh, uh, I think it's uh, geometria or. I oh, I know that. what you're talking about the the uh, the numbers the where number where codes. yeah where you where you learn what the uh, numbers are. So I, I hear you. I'm yeah. following you, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it's a it's a it, it it's, was I think a, it's geometria. Yeah, geometria. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. So they it, it just was to amplify the 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 frequency of my name and make sure it was associated with some. Cause That's you gotta dope. do that on Instagram. Like you can't just have, you feel me? Just a regular ass name. I mean, it made it hard. It was like somebody already using this. That's so, what I wanted to talk to you about too. <laughs> I, I saw, you know, I was looking you up today, right before yeah. I did the interviews. Right, I yeah. do this every every interview. I look them up and I do <laughs> some history because <laughs> I got to know what the hell I'm talking about up here, guys. So True. Um, I did see a lot of God faces, and that's why I'm, I'm asking you to break down each part of it. Believe so that. so I, that. I love that, the gematria part of the 4400, because yeah. me, like, again, guys, I'm from the town. Somebody say 4400, and I'm thinking you're from the 44 for something. You exactly. feel what I'm saying? So exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it solid. But, no, but um that. Okay, see, that's why I'm, that's why I love this, guys. I love this platform. We bring it up here. My man up here, he, he's showing y'all the energy, and I love it. I love it. Okay, now, it's another part of his name, and we're going to get into who he is as an individual. Now, you said spiritual gangster. <laughs> true. On your profile. This is All true. All right, yeah. yeah. See, a lot of people don't understand. I be in your I'm, – I'm in there. I'm in your DMs, <laughs> man. I'm not playing. I'm, I'm in your DM. I'm in your profile. I'm everywhere. So, special uh, – spiritual – Gangster, break that down for us, bud, please. No, for sure. Uh, I think um, gangster has a negative uh, cognitation to it uh, due to the fact that of the lack of the um, team um, aspect, of the organizational aspect of it, right? And then the purpose behind it. Um it's just kind of frivolous at this point, mm. and anybody's able to call themselves a gangster. But in reality, it's really going up against the system is what makes you a gangster. Absolutely. Right? In an organized way for the benefit of others around you, mm-hmm. not in a destructional way. I like that. So <clears throat> I felt like it was important to be just as hard about that as anybody is hard about whatever it is that they – feel they want to be hard for Mm -hmm. so i'm hard about divinity i'm hard about my yacht and learning the true history of the holy trinity and and things of that nature so i felt like it was important to let people know from the jump i'm serious about that right absolutely and i like that man and that's why i'm asking you to to break that down because the name means a lot bro I mean, people people get the impression from your name first. True. And um, 
So I like that. So you are you um are you a spiritual artist or are you more of a um worldly artist or are you a little True. bit of both I'm or facts, I'm a um I'm a everything, yeah. I'm really not even no genre or no specific like I guess you could say conscious rap, mm -hmm. right? But then a lot of conscious rappers will say I wasn't because <laughs> I incorporate things that I experienced in other music that I enjoy, like Too Short and Mac Dre, right, and things like that. So right. I'm the, we're gonna have fun, right, while we learn, you know. And you know, I'm glad you brought up that Too Short and Mac Dre because that's leading into my next question here. I noticed in your latest uh, release. Um, and we're going to get into that in a minute, guys. You know I like to yap about who the artist is that's up here. So that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to cram that in right quick, and then we're going to get into the music. So um, I noticed with your latest release, it's got a soulful sound to it, right? But I noticed you said Mac Dre and all of that stuff. So are you trying to do something different in this project, or has that soulful uh, artist always been in you? Yeah, that was... I used to sing in the choir when I was little, mm -hmm. and I used to be a singer from the when I was like three, four, five, you know, okay, in church and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. And I was actually pretty good at it, and I, I always knew I had a spark of inner, uh, inner being an entertainer of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm sorry. What did you ask me again? Uh, I was saying that. Uh, the soulful, oh yeah, the right. soulful part of the right. the 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 art, the the track that you got out now, right? Exactly. That you pushing now, right? Sure is that is. like what you usually do, or is that something? Is that that's a change, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's like getting back because I heard a couple basics. of your songs back in the days, and I'm trying, I'm gonna try to get it, I'm gonna try to get into a, a few of his old tracks, but sure. we're getting into what he got out now, guys. So oh, as far sure. as the soulful part, right? Where did that really come from? You know exactly. what I mean? How did that? Yeah. Where where did the inspiration for that come from? Yeah, that that was exactly that foundation of being in, in the incorporating church. that 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 holy gospel choirish, but also the R and B and the early love LL Cool J, a little bit of hood, ja Rule, yeah. like you know that yeah, was what a, we I wouldn't say we missing because it's there. If we missing it. It's not there. It's not there. Yeah, so yeah, I decided yeah, to make sure we got it. Okay, you know what I, mean? I, I respect that. I respect yeah. that. I respect that. So as far as like, um, I noticed your Instagram numbers, right? Let's let's get into your Instagram profile. Sure, I yeah. know that your Instagram numbers. I don't I don't mean to be going a little bit fast here, guys. But we started a little late, but um, I'm still trying to keep it professional. And my man is doing a great job. So you guys, man, just just bear with us. So I know your Instagram numbers are a little bit low. Right now, is that because you don't use the platform or you're just not engaging with the platform or, I mean, could you break that down for me? Because a lot of people uh, misjudge Instagram. True. Instagram go hard. That's how I met you. That's how we met each other, right? Yes, that's how we're here right now. Exactly. So that's why I ask these questions, guys. It's like, why it's it's not it's not it's not a punch or a jab or then I'm just asking you. Yeah. Do you use other platforms or right. is Instagram just like... I yeah, ah, you right. feel what I'm saying? What right. is it? What's going on? I, I mean, I appreciate. I love Instagram. I love my my followers that I have now. Yeah, like I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> like I love them. Like for real, it's about three hundred and something, and I really try to engage with them as much as possible. Absolutely. I also try to do ads to bring in others, you know, but I don't get outrageous with it. I keep it in perspective because my goals is different. You know, I got a message, and, uh, you know, it's not going to always hit home with certain people. But I try to do my best to put it in as many people that deserve to, to hear it. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, those numbers will increase. Well, I mean, I, I, I like Instagram. You know yeah. what I mean, and and yeah. and if people follow the bu the bubble podcast, like I hope you do, uh, y'all understand that I'm pumping all artists on Instagram, right? Because Instagram um, is underrated right now, so that's why I asked that question for sure. You know, is. because I I again, guys, I don't be trying to have people up in here with thirty five thousand followers and all of these 
pumped up numbers. I want to have real people coming in here talking to y'all. And that's why this platform is here because I want y'all to see, again, real people out here doing it like, you know, like you. They trying to, you know, if you're trying to do it, this is this is how you do this. So um, I also see now that you are actively pushing. Let's get into your music. I see that you are actively pushing this uh, new single, Mutual. Sure, indeed. Okay. Why are you going so hard right now with this one? I noticed that you also have a few more songs in the past. I did. Right? And I, I you know, and I, I did a little bit of numbers check on that too, y'all. And I, you know, I'm we're gonna get into that in later interviews. But you know what I mean? I did a numbers check on that and I see that you going harder right now and this just dropped a couple of days ago. Yeah. So what are you doing different now that you did back when you first started? Right, right. Yeah. Well it's uh trial and error really yeah you know each each track you know i think i got five so far since i got serious you know yeah and um just really learning you know what i'm good at what i'm not good at and really um applying applying myself you know staying disciplined to what i have written down you know you try to get you try to pre-plan things and then you try to scratch off as many things and get as many things as cop accomplished as you wrote down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some things don't work out. You know, you got to make some adjustments. Yep. And I think for this project, I was able to scratch off more, more things than I did on the last one. Really? Yeah. For sure. So, so, so what, it, so what is the motivation to get further in life every time you make another project, bro? Because it's difficult to right. do this in life, man. Yeah. It's very difficult to make music or uh, pursue your passion or do anything yeah. with life, especially today and time, right? <laughs> so <laughs> Talk about so, it. so Talk about it. what is it that makes you get up and be like, man, I gotta get this shit done, yeah. period. Nothing, I'm not accepting nothing less. What is that motivational thing that gets you up every day to do it, bro? Uh, I would say the number one thing would just be my fear, fear of failure. Okay. I would, I would think that's the only thing that I would say is fear is a good for is to be fearful of not achieving your goals, fearful of not doing the thing that, you know, you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and having to deal with that regret. So. I just don't want to have that in my mind. Like, ah, oh, these songs I was sitting on them. All right, it's too late. Yeah. I mean, it's never too late to be great. But, you know, you just might not have the energy and the resources and the time and the things available if you don't jump on your dream while you are active. Or while you have the juice. Yeah, see, and I'm glad you said that, man. It's like, oh, it's too late. It's too late. Bro, it ain't never too late to get out there and do something, bro. If the passion is still burning in you from 80 years old, 80, 90, I don't give a damn, bro. You good, man, get your ass up and make it happen, bro. So that's why I appreciate what my man is out here doing. So um, let's get into some of your influences real quick before our time get up here. No so, so, so uh, influences from back in the days to get you going and influences that you listen to right now because it's a big ass change. True. Music has changed a whole lot. That's so a, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> so what were your influences back then to your influences right now? Man, back then I jumped in the game. It was Tupac that was the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I when hip hop when I got a glimpse of hip hop, it was Pac. Mm -hmm. And um I think it was because I think you know, around the time he had passed away as well, right? Okay. So he be, he got amplified after that too. He was immortalized, yeah, yeah. And I was, I was, I was immersed because <laughs> he was everywhere. Yeah, I was immersed because he was everywhere, right? Like right. a valley, the whole nine, like. Rapping bar for bar, flipping the tape back and forth in the tape deck on the A and B on the All Eyes on Me. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna say Pac and um, Cash Money. Okay. Yeah, that it was undeniable. Undeniable. That was a yeah, shout era. out to uh, shout out to my man uh, 
Manny Fresh, man. I'll be seeing you in my stories, brother, and I love you. Thank you. You need to start following me. But uh, yeah, go ahead, man. You know, yeah. I, Shout out to Manny. Fresh. Manny Fresh, man. Manny Great. Fresh, man. OG, OG original, man. exactly. Oh, you feel man. me? So uh, yeah. I just had to put that out there, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel. Um, I feel where you coming from. I had Kafani. He jumped in my thing on my stories like four or five times. I was like, he see me. Yeah, you, I mean, I'm getting eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm getting eyes somewhere. So, um, so with that being said, right? What makes you go? What 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 made you contact my platform right. to help uh, further your project, man? Because I am really ecstatic. I acknowledge that. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, when when pleasure. my hard work is acknowledged, I appreciate it, man. Because I'm out here acknowledging all y'all hard work. You know what you I mean? Indeed, yeah. And, that's why. That's and, why. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let you go ahead. At my bad. I'm I'm kind of answering the question, guys. Nah. My bad. But yeah. So what made you contact me to uh, kind of help promote your your yeah. new your new project, bro? Yeah. You you uh, you highly professional. You do great uh, content. Um, you you really uh, you know put the artist first. Yeah. Um, you make it simple and plain, you know, and uh, easy to relate. Um, you felt personal, you know, like you really love the culture. Yeah. So it's easy when you can feel the same, when you know you you in it, you both in it for the same reasons or similar reasons, and so that it, it was a no brainer. That's what's up, bro. I I, pre <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Thank you, man. Um, so. Let everyone know your ties to the Bay Area, because y'all know this is a Bay Area podcast, and I, it, you ain't gonna be sitting up in here if you ain't from the Bay Area. You know, <laughs> I, I play a lot of people that's probably like from the East Coast, and uh, you know they send me music, but you ain't gonna sit in here if you're not from the Bay Area. So why don't you go ahead and break down your ties and how you got ties to the Bay Area? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, we're gonna start off with with pops and mom dudes. You feel me? They from Richmond, California. And um, they had me, um, you know, in their early 20s. And I um, I was raised in Oakland, you know, from a baby up until about 12, 13. I moved to San Leandro. Shout out to San Leandro High. All my, po <laughs> okay. my poetry partners yep. and all my rap battlers out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I got fat. That's why I started laughing. I'm like, San Leandro High slept on. No, for sure. We had a blast in San yeah. Leandro, man. It was like right next to East Oakland. So yes, they I slept. was um they slept on. I was I was the guy, you know, for for being able to just immerse two different worlds during that time. Yeah. Cause it was like San Leandro was um, you know, it's culturally different. Yeah. But it has definitely a twinkle in up in, in some in spots in there where it's like, yeah, we culturally advanced and we uh we have adopted and the more you infuse you know the essays my amigo partners and you got my uh my filipino friends shout out to all my guys you know it's just a gumbo pot so mm -hmm. it's just i i learned so many different experiences by being able to live in those two or three different cities you know throughout my life that's what's up and that's why you still claiming the bay is that why you call it a home have you ever have uh, you ever experienced anything outside the Bay Area? Never, okay. never. We didn't we didn't touch all four corners. We didn't hit the layup. <laughs> we, but we stuck in the yeah. Well, the Bay is our turf, you know. Yeah, That's yeah. Where we at. I feel it. I feel it. All right. Um, this new track, guys. I listened to this track, Mutual. I love it. You know what I mean. I'm still waiting on him to send it to me, it, and. You know what I mean? We started corresponding like last week. You feel what I'm saying? And my yeah. man is in here now a week later in front of camera. That's how his hustle is. So I want y'all to start break. I want you to break down the inspiration behind Mutual, bro. Oh, for sure. For Please. Sure. Mutual, it's about love and compassion again. It's about um, your partner and, you know, bouncing ideas off each other. It's about having a plan for that partner. It's about having a, an appreciation for that partner. It's about um, expressing it, you know, with unapologetic enthusiasm so that they can feel what it is that you say that you feel about that person. Mm -hmm. 
and you know it's definitely has a um a, a hint of you know r b in there to make sure that the the point is driven home of how serious it is that we need to reunify the family aspect with the mother and the father you know that's that's important very important forward, hell yeah forward. hell yeah Hell yeah, I like that, man. So that's the whole concept behind Mutual. Yeah, <clears throat> y'all need to go check it out, man. Mutual dropped uh, February seventeenth. That's true. And he on all platforms. That's a fact, man. He 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 rocking, man. You know what I mean? We ain't going nowhere yet. I just wanted to. to that was the whole point of him coming out here to really bust out Mutual. But we have oh. like damn near an hour worth of talk, so we ain't gonna talk about just one song. So we got to talk indeed. about the artists. Um, now the work. I see you putting into promoting this thing, bro. You going ham. I see you on like all kind of different podcasts. I see him on, uh, I'm on IG y'all. I'm on IG. I'm on YouTube. I'm on everything. I'm on everything. I'm on everything. And I'm looking and I see my man and I'm like, damn, bro is moving. Bro is moving. And I like the work that you putting into it. Do you have a team that's behind you? Or are you moving strictly independent? This is me to the neck. It's me to the neck and my girl and, you know, a couple of my friends and associates that that, that deal with the music. But for the most part, the, the creative, the picking the songs, yeah. the, you know, deciding what the merch going to be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We got the merch right here. Yeah, going to speak on that merch too. You know what I'm saying? We got the merch right here. You could go get one of these tees for yourself. Uh, it's called Old School Love. It's tied in with the mutual. It got Pac on there, you know, the Love Jones joint. And then it got your girl, you know, Miss Sonia Lathan. That's dope. You know, and that's supposed to be me right there with Sonia Lathan, but it's all good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you feel me? But look. That's dope. It's a, it's a dope. I think it's just part, a, a good idea to just make sure that we um that we, we, we support each other with that, too. Yeah. So, so as far as the work that went into producing the music now. Yeah. Um, I know mo moving independently, guys, damn. It, damn, it's taxing. You know what I mean? I can't say it enough, man. I mean, shit. Uh, but are you doing everything on your own on, in that as well too, brother? Please believe it. Please believe it. We definitely going to be looking to expand, though, and, and kind of delegate some of these things because – it's um it gets overwhelming easy. yeah and it's easier than ever before you know to kind of just get these apps going and then just kind of like find the right people that you trust to kind of just get on a schedule because at this point is it you know what we trying to do is going to need more hands-on and i'm gonna have to be a little less you know i gotta focus on the music part i gotta still be an artist so right i gotta figure out how to do that right so that's what you working on you and your girl right now yeah Man, that's dope, bro. So, um, all right. As I mentioned earlier, my man has not submitted any music, but we about to change that, right? True indeed. All right. So, uh, what is the like biggest platform that you really think that everybody should be going to? Because a lot of artists they try to spread themselves thin mm -hmm. and try to. I'm gonna go here. 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 What? As an independent artist, you doing it on your own, you and your girl, what do you find helps you a little bit better? What platform? Um, to be honest with you, I'm trying my best not to even um, engage in the analytics even as much anymore, really. Why not? Uh, because it's a, like a dopamine, like you see these likes, you see these views, you say, oh, this one's working over here or whatever, right? And in reality, it's like, just do you, and they're going to come. Let's but see. Let's you see. Yeah, you know what? And I hate to cut you off, but then I, I'm glad you're making that point. This is what it's for, guys. This is what it's about. That is a great damn point because I used to be the same way. Like, damn, bro, I'm about to be looking at that every day. I got to get up every morning, and the first thing on my brain is what these numbers is doing. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel I'm you on that. Yeah, not exactly. To care but as much, but I definitely love. Uh, it's a necessary evil, brother. Yeah, it's some structure and some paying attention because TikTok is is huge right now. Yeah, I haven't cracked the code 
and it, it, I kind of don't, don't know TikTok. if I I really should or if I want to or do I just just pick two or three, just keep it simple, and but how do you pick them? Though? That's my thing. I uh, do I, I say do what you feel is more comfortable. Like I'm really getting more comfortable with YouTube now. Yeah. Like I, I've been comfortable with YouTube since yeah. 07. Yeah. <laughs> I see you busting moves on that joint. So right on. I'm like this. Like, I got to get acclimated into that because I like long range content forms yes. anyway. That's going to be there for life. Right. Be I like forever. That. Yeah. I like that. I like that. The like people that can sit down for 30 minutes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And listen. I like that, man. I like that. That's that's a that's a real point right there too, man. Right. So as far as like um like we're gonna start winding down here, guys, but as far as like the content you create, are you trying to be hands on doing that? Because I see you got a bobblehead here. So yeah. explain the bobblehead to yeah. people, man. You know what I mean? Because my man got merch here, you know homie. what I mean? Yeah. yeah, the yeah. Right there. So I, I want you to explain. Are you hands on with everything or, I mean, cause it's like, yeah, it's just you and your girl, but sometimes we need help, bro. Sometimes we need a little bit of. No, for sure. I got, uh, like I said, my team that I, like been getting my production from, which is Oaktown Soul, um, Pimp Style, the producer. Um, I got some great photography from uh, T1 Visuals. Like I'm just tapping in with people in the Bay Area that are active. Because if I get active with the actives, then now we can see some traction. Because we're not together. Just, yeah, we're not just doing this for fun. You know what <laughs> I mean? Hell no. Nah. It's great to, <laughs> I mean, we do it because we love it. It's but enjoyable. At some point, you know, you get to the to that to that area in your life where you say, well, how can we monetize? Yes. And it's okay. Yeah. You know, but you want to get to the point where you figure out our how can we monetize? Yes. You know? And that, and is that is that where you at right now? Or are you? That's basically where we at, yeah. Okay. We're going to do everything from the ground. And once we figure out how we're going to monetize this this brand, you know, we got a little bit of merch here. We want to we wanna expand that. We want to do more shows. We want to figure out how do we, you know, get on the pay radios and Things of that nature, you know. Yeah. So that's it's that trial and error you talked about earlier. Trial and error, yeah, yeah. you know, throwing it out there and seeing what you got to do it. You got to do it. Like at this point, it's just a, it's an itch that I got to scratch. Just there you to, go, bro. Just that's the smell. It. That's called passion, guys. Yeah. It's called passion, and, and that passion ain't never gonna go nowhere. That's and, right. Um, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. If I mean, you really I, got it for it. If you really got it. For I it. mean, it's, it's no, it's no denying it because. You can go 20 years and you still going to have it on the back of your head. What if? You're going to still try to do it. Like, <laughs> I could still kind of, you know, I don't like this. I've been studio. doing it, you know, yeah. Nephew did got me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So um, you, you was talking about branding, man. Break down your brand. Talk sure. about your brand. Talk about your business. Talk about what you got going on. Okay. You got your shouts out. This is your shouting plugs time right here. No, for sure. Yeah. God face. You know, we here to uh to infuse enlightenment in hip hop, you know, uh a safe haven for uh outside the box thinkers, you know, uh it, that still love hip hop, you know. Uh push push hip hop further, you know, build on what the Giants did. And and God face is uh just, you know, it's, it's needed right now because people need to hear uh, the, the talking points of a of a Marcus Garvey, of a, a Huey P. Newton, and um, even, you know, a guy like Tupac, you know what I'm saying, and inside of the culture again, you know? No disrespect, but I just don't hear enough of it. So it's only right. You know, I always wanted to fight for something. <clears throat> I didn't really have a turf or a gang or some criminal aspect to really get behind. Um, so I fell in love with knowledge. And um, I realized how important that was. I was like, I could, fly, I could, I could bang for this mm -hmm. through the music. And so ever since then, it was like, well, that's what you got. That's what you're here for. I'm like, I'm not a teacher. I'm a great communicator. 
So, but if you can learn, then I did my job. And if you could dance or you could bop to it, I did my job. I like that, man. You say you're a great communicator, bro. That is big right there. I mean, you see, guys, I have real people on here that come on here and talk to you guys, all right? Um, my man is dope. Like I said, he ain't sent me no music, but <laughs> as far as me, like, going into DMs and, and checking stuff out and doing this and really listening to music, man, this is what I do because I'm an artist first. So I bring on people that's going to talk to you and let y'all know that um, it's possible. It's possible, man. You know what I mean? It's, it just keep putting one toe in front of the other, man. You're going to eventually end up to the next wall at least. You know what I mean? Then break through that that thing. But um man, I love having my I love having artists like my my dude in here, man. I love talking to my dude Godface, bro. Is there any kind of message that you want to send any anybody right now? Um I I did want you to talk a little bit more we, like I said, guys, we started a little late, and I wanted him to talk a little bit more about Oak Town Soul. True. I wanted you to talk about that because I be in their DMs too. I be liking theirs, and they know about the the Bubble Podcast too. And I love y'all. I love y'all support. Thank you so much, um, man. I wanted you to talk. You know what? Go ahead and talk a little bit, just a couple minutes about Oak okay. Town Soul, bro. Yeah, just like two minutes. Um. To be totally honest, out of the last five joints, the first five joints of my career, you know, official career, um, you know, I would say they did 90% of the production on that. And they are highly influential as far as um, making sure the sound is, um, you know, uh, comparable to the others out there and giving me that authentic, professional, quality uh, sound that I was looking for, you know, um, something that is not common, you know, that is, um, it's an artistic expression that is, uh, is needed in a different format for different listeners. So hip hop can be expanded. That's what's up. That's what's up. So as far as like O Town Soul, man, I love that y'all backing this man up. I love that y'all backing me up. I love that the supporters are out there. This has been the bubble podcast. Your new home for Bay Area talent presented by Streetwise Intellect Productions. I have been your host, Mr. Reed the Realist, and this has been my very extravagant guest, God Face, 4400 on Instagram if y'all want to go check him out. God Face, 4400, man. Coming out of Oakland, guys, and, uh, man, he has a lot to say. Go check him out, and I love y'all for checking this out. Until the next time. I'm so juiced to be on camera again, guys. We're about to make it happen. And, and I, I love you guys. I'm out of here. Peace. Streetwise, Streetwise. Intellect. Intellect Production. Production.